What's going on Quantum Nation? Welcome back. I'm currently calibrating the Sony X950H. So for those who want these bomb ass settings that I'm going to be creating after the calibration, make sure you join the VIP members because it's going to be on and popping. Um, but that being said, all the videos you're gonna be seeing after this point are going to have this professional calibration on it. And I'm going to obviously go a step above and beyond plus ultra style, making sure that we give you guys the absolute best settings. So um, once I do this, I'll again, let you guys know probably with a membership post or something like that or community post or something like that. Just check the comment section and I'll have that stuff good to go. Um, so just showing you guys in real time, I actually do calibrate these TVs. I do use the X-Rite i1 Display Pro color meter. CNET uses, or at least at one point did use the same color meter along with Artings and a bunch of other guys. But magically I get told it's like a $9 color meter, a $2 color meter, it's a toy. It's a really good low light meter that gets you incredible accuracy. And for those who are dogging on me and talking all that crap, I mean, just look at the average Delta error for such a toy. A .25 Delta error, look at that line. Absolutely freaking beautiful. I mean, it's beautiful. The calibration is done. We did our auto cal for the grayscale. So that's bang on perfect and we're just gonna keep going and yeah, but yeah, for my toy of a calibration tool, everybody thinks I need something more. I'm gonna point out the fact that uh, the Delta Arrow thing is not perceptible to the human eye once you get below Delta Arrow of three. We're at point 25, my dudes. That's why I use the X-Rite i1 Display Pro color meter because you can get crazy accurate image quality. It'll take a little longer than some of the more professional ones, but I'm not pressed for time right now. And honestly speaking, like look at all my graphs. Those shits are looking so beautiful. I mean, look at the Delta Arrow. It's practically freaking perfect. So yeah, I just wanted to put this out there because there's so many people talking crap about you don't know how to calibrate, you don't know what you're doing, and I just wanted to show this side of things, uh, post-cal at least, and at least as I'm doing it and go through it and whatever. Also, what's that down there? I'm pretty sure that says Lightroom. Also confirming that I am a professional photographer, for, or at the very least, I know how to use Lightroom enough to have bought it back when uh, Adobe was actually offering physical products. So maybe consider that as well. Um, and that is an actual owned copy of Lightroom 4, so just saying. But I'm gonna continue on with this calibration. We're just gonna let it do what it does, and then after that, I'll be on my way here, but uh, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching the number one brand in honesty, and until the next video, I'll see you guys later.